Hi, uh, this question may sound like it has nothing to do with language learning, but uh, when you meet someone for the first time and then they tell you their name, what do you focus on? You say to yourself, uh, whoa, 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 that's a long and exotic name. I, th I think you should change that name. Or do you focus on your identity? Like, I'm, oh, I'm really bad at names. So you focus on, I'm not good with names, I'm not good with names. And you kind of hypnotize yourself. Or do you focus on, uh, what kind of tools could I use to remember that name? Maybe I could uh, write it down. I can repeat the name. Oh, Cornelius. Nice to meet you, Cornelius. Well, in the same way, uh, when you are learning a foreign language, uh, you can focus on your identity. You can hypnotize yourself uh, like, uh, I'm bad at languages. I'm bad at languages. And you don't really give your brain a chance. Or you may focus on your identity as, uh, well, I'm, I'm not the person who enjoys learning languages. Maybe it's interesting to know that I don't actually enjoy filming these videos myself at the moment. I, I'm pretty sure I'll uh, start enjoying it more and more over time as I get used to this. But yeah, I, I prefer talking to real people instead of these two lenses of my smartphone that I'm using for filming this. But I also focus on the kind of rewards that this video may give me. Like I can connect with other people who enjoy learning languages. Um, I can turn this into a business probably and yeah just like there are tools for remembering names there are also tools for memorizing words and phrases obviously and uh, if you feel like you don't have those tools at the moment this channel is about sharing those tools uh, like i i've already made a few videos where i talk about some language learning techniques and but yeah, language learning is not only about tools and techniques, it's also an emotional journey. So that's why I want to ask, what do you really enjoy doing in life? And I would like you to write it down on a piece of paper or somewhere on your notes. What do you enjoy doing in life? Like not what looks cool uh, or what you think you should enjoy but yeah like what what are your passions and um, we can consider like how how to combine these passions and interests and language learning so try to think of ways to do that thing in in the target language Maybe you enjoy watching comedy shows or other kind of TV shows. Could you watch those TV shows in the target language? Or maybe with the subtitles of the target language. With my wife, after our child uh, goes to bed, we watch Modern Family at the moment, the TV show Modern Family, with Italian subtitles. So I, I learn some words and phrases of Italian while we are watching that, that uh, great TV show. Uh, do you like uh, traveling? It may be a good idea to watch uh, travel shows or travel videos from YouTube or, or elsewhere. Mm. Like it, it doesn't even have to be necessarily in the target language, but if it's connected to the country where that, that language is spoken, it can kind of boost your motivation and um, it may make it easier 
in the future to to um, watch the TV shows in, in the target language also that you're learning. Many people think that you have to read children's, children's books early on in your language studies, but I'm not sure that's a good idea. There are some, some good children's books. I mean, good children's books for language learning that are you know funny and inter- interesting even for adults. And obviously it depends what you like, but I think it's more important that you find something to read that's, uh, that you're really interested in, that you're prepared to read multiple times. I myself uh, enjoy reading comics or graphic novels in the languages that I'm learning. And, um, you know, the beautiful images help me uh, to understand. And also, I don't mind reading it again, partly because of those beautiful images that I can I can see. And so you might say that, uh, well, there are still so many words that I don't know. So I can't really enjoy stuff that I would normally enjoy in my native language. Uh, but yeah, I'm, my previous video was called When Can You Start Enjoying Interesting Native Level Content? And there I also talk about ways to get get through the basics as fast as possible and ways of transitioning to more challenging native level content 